if your girl dresses like that, she's a keeper. Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to the Mad Scientist Lab. Uh, yeah, in our kitchen, we have a battery with some jumper cables and some wax frames yes. that we are sinking into the, uh, the frames. Yeah. So, go ahead. Okay, ready? So basically, we are grounding to the wires that run through these frames. You can see right there. And they short circuit, heat up, and melt the wax till it fuses onto those wires and gets stuck. Isn't science cool? Science is amazing. It's slow. <laughs> it is slow. It's a tiny battery. It is. I didn't want to dig a battery out of one of the cars. That's so. alright. I mean, I suppose we could do this out there by the car. I see, yeah, I guess we could. But Probably that's get right. done in just a couple seconds. It's windy outside. I mean, I can smell wax. This is better because I can like watch it better rather than just burning through it. Yeah, you can see right there it's mm -hmm. starting. You can see the wire starting to show up. That's so cool. All right, so there is actually some rhyme to our reason. Why are we doing this? Uh, okay, this is a very short story. Um, a very, very, very kind and generous viewer sent us a horizontal hive because she was like, it's gonna blow your mind and change your life. I guess, because I don't know bees very well enough either way. So like now but, we, we have a regular hive, a vertical hive, yes. and a horizontal and hive. And horizontal hive. So I was like, okay, thank you. And then I was honest with her. I was like, I don't know if we'll get another set of bees right now because I'm still learning. But it showed up and I was like, sure, why not? Let's get more bees. Let's order another, another nuke of bees. Why not? Yeah. So um, this one has a little more preparation. You got to install the frame and all that. But the bees are here. I picked them up 20 minutes ago, and we weren't quite ready. I still had to do this part. We got the, the thing all painted. Yeah, the thing's all, all painted and ready to go out, but... I still yeah, had to do this we got part. Some, I'm going to go out here and look at the bees. Okay. I wondered where you stashed them when you yeah, got home. They're, on the right here. they're right here. It's a lot of bees. Bees are so fun. Yeah, them are. Yeah, them are. So far from what we've seen with bees. They're fun. Maybe not getting stung is fun, but generally the whole whole thing of bees is pretty cool. Nobody's gotten stung yet. No, that first batch of bees you got is like the calmest so batch of bees I have ever seen. So chill. Like you can go in there, you can just pick up handfuls of, yeah. not that you do that. No, I don't, but they're so chill. Like anytime you go over there, nobody bothers you. They're just all about that bee life. Yeah, they are. Smells like beeswax over here. It smells amazing. I love the smell of beeswax. See, I don't really like the smell of beeswax. It smells weird to me. I like the well, smell of refined beeswax. This is smell. refined beeswax. <laughs> this is, is this the last one? Yeah. I'm just going to do four frames for now. It has like 14 frames in it, but I'm just going to do four for now. Is this Frankenstein? This is called a <laughs> short circuit <laughs> to heat the wires to melt the wax. Mm -hmm. Kind of cool, huh? <laughs> He's like, oh, we're burning stuff. I'm all about that. Sort of dangerous, too. Okay, let's uh, disconnect. <laughs> Before I set these down and they're like... Well, touch them together. They don't spark. They're not sparking. Oh, oh. you <laughs> lied. <laughs> <laughs> just disconnect these. Oh, my goodness. Alrighty. All right, we got four frames. Yep. I guess that means we got to haul that heavy hive <laughs> yeah. out to where we're we going to put it. All right, let's go down here. We have... Hand, she says. All right, so we uh, we painted this thing a couple days ago because uh, we knew that bees were coming, and uh, that's pretty much all we did. I yeah. Didn't, I didn't put the doors on it. I guess it's got little doors that need to go on it. But for the most part, like we are ready. Yeah. Here it is. We painted it the same uh, nature-friendly color. Yes. Uh, this was the thrift store green that you had. Yes. So the paint you have is better than the paint you don't have. It and is. honestly, it's actually a nice color. It is, we've come to like it. Having the uh, the beehive out there, like it kind of blends in with the grass and stuff like that. It's, it's a nice color. Yeah. The well house is also the same color. So it's, it's nice. Yeah, we're digging it. Impact. Jack says he's got one stashed over there in his stuff. I didn't even know he was down here. Cool. All right, got an impact. We just need a Phillips bit. All right, so these are the doors. Apparently the bees need doors. Uh, these are where the bees go in. 
and these will sit like that. Apparently, if the bees are no longer wanting company, you can shut it down. So, maybe I need to look into getting a front door like this. <laughs> oh, oh, visitors? Turn. Not today. <laughs> All right, I just gotta put the corner braces on and then this will be ready to go out to its permanent home. Yes. And then we can fill it full of bees. Yep. <laughs> All right, got the side corner protectors on. I uh, got this thing. I had to put legs on it, little screws to space it off the bottom. Now we're putting our frames in. So they're only going to be living from that door into that section. For now, yeah, while they build. And then as they get bigger, then I'll... We can open it up. Yeah. So really, honestly, if this was like sealed off, you can take the lid off and they can't get out. Yeah. That's really kind of cool. Yeah. Because the other one, you pry the top off and... Right. See, I'm, I've am i never seen one of these in my life. Me, I mean, this is new to me too. But. Uh, as we've like, you know, painted it and done stuff, it's like, this is kind of cool. Is. Like this is, this is way different. This is it's a different way of keeping very bees. Very different. This is gonna, I get to have two learning curves at one time. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> all the bee stuff all at once. Oh, that's kind of how we roll. Yeah. So it's fine. Hey, if we're gonna learn, learn it all. That's right. Uh, well, right. It's called immersion learning. Yes. Well, we're immersing, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Put the lid on. Make sure it fits before we get out of here. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. This is, I'd say the one downfall with this hive is it's extremely heavy. It is extremely heavy. All right. Does it teeter-totter? Is it stuck on anything? Did I mess anything up? No, I think we're good. It's okay. Jack, you pick up. Mom, you slide the box out. Okay. Your shoulders. Your shoulders. Okay. What do you think? Four cinder blocks? Yeah, probably. Okay. Since all of these are different heights and we need to stand them this way, I gotta pound the uh, the mortar off. Alright. So I'll get four blocks. Watch out, Bugaboo. Demortar them. We got it set up. I've seen pictures of these. Uh, people put them on tables. They'll uh, build legs for them, stuff like that. We're just gonna try cinder blocks right now. Uh, with the wind we had last night, if something like this was any higher off the ground, it would have became airborne. Um, so we're gonna keep it low for right now. I'm wearing all dark colors, so I'll be the cameraman while Meg, Meg gets the bees. Yeah, I'm excited. Get suited up, because you don't know these bees. I don't know these bees. My other bees and I are super cool. Like I, most of the time when I go out there to feed them the sugar water, I don't even wear a suit. They're so chill, like so chill. And these guys, no clue. They might be hateful bees. They might be more super chill bees. So these are Italian bees, which the last batch is also Italian, but they're an OHB Italian, which are bred to be like extra chill. And I would say they live up to their, their hype. Like you can literally pick up like handfuls of bees and they won't sting you. Yeah. Like they're super chill. You know, I realize that also goes with the person. I like guess. if you are Zen yourself, a lot of times and they'll leave you alone. don't really wrong. scare me. Like if they're stinging me, it's because I did something wrong, but. Like stepped on them. And I have not gotten stung yet, so. Knock on wood. Yeah, but we'll see with these, if they're, uh, if they're as cool or if we're gonna have issues with each other. Here is the feeder. This goes inside. It's got little. Let's see if I can. Things. Brett, hold that. <laughs> little ridges inside. Because I took one look, I was like, the bees are gonna fall <laughs> in that and drown. It's the same thing. It, no, it's. Uh, it's got grippies. It's got little grips on the inside so they can climb out. What'd you say? Come outside, bee. We're getting ready to. Mom's getting all suited up. Yep. There you go. All, all right. right. Got your sugar water. 
Got the feeder. There wasn't that many dead bees in the last patch, was there? There's a lot of dead bees in there. So I guess the uh, protocol is if there's a half inch or more deep, then you can call them. That triggers like getting your insurance out of it and stuff. But this is not a half inch, so I guess we're just gonna deal and, with that. I mean, the bottom's not completely covered. No, no it's not. It's just sad that there's that many dead bees, but it is what it is. Poor bees. Yeah. That's all right. Let's get him out of there. Yeah. Look at this garlic, yo. Buggy, stand, walk in here in the garlic. garlic. Look at that. That yeah. garlic is as tall as the toddler. That's some beautiful garlic. What? So this is basically like three, three hives worth of space. Yeah. So you actually can run. No, not in three, there, Brett. Three small. No, not there. You can run three small hives in here, and just put dividers that are blocked all the way down. Um, but just think of it like this, <laughs> that way. So this will be like the brooder, basically. And then you would add a super, and add a super, and add a super. Okay. Wanna, like put more frames in this. That's kind of cool. Yeah. It's not honey. It's organic sugar. Organic sugar. So it has a brown Baby. color. Here, you want to take yeah, that we'll out and pour it off. before we stickify we'll everything? <clears throat> We're going to have to into a sticky, sticky, disgusting mess. Alright, I would be very comfortable if y'all backed up. Okay, come on. So I go to the post office. Ours has a side door, so you go knock on the side door. And the lady comes up with my bees, she's carrying it, she's like, they sure do sound angry. And it's like, no, they're fine. She's like, uh-huh, okay. People are so scared of bees. It's like, it's not a box of wasps. Like, I'd be a little bit hesitant to handle a box of wasps. Buggy, over here. about honeybees and why I'm not so scared of them. They're really not gonna sting you unless they really feel Whereas wasps are just jerks, and they don't care. Yeah, wasps will just sting you just as soon as look at you. Hey. Ladies, hello. Is that, is that where the queen goes? This is the queen, yeah. See, now that you uh, just did this like a week and a half, two weeks ago. Oh, hey. Did they already get her out? Oh, no, 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 that's not her. Never mind, that's just a big bee. Okay. Can I get a close up? There's a lot, there's bees in there with her, so you can't. Oh, so they got in? I guess. I mean, I don't see where they did get in, but maybe they put some in there with her. They, could... they couldn't quite separate yeah. her. Yeah. Oh, no, they're smashing That bees. one looks awful long. Yeah, there's Is a couple that, that are, no, she's. She's in there? Yeah. There oh, yeah, I see her. her. Yeah, I see there her. she is. Oh, yep, so. She's the fancy looking one. Yeah, she's fancy. Fancy, looking... fancy bee. Fancy bee. She is the fancy she's bee. Fancy. All right, I've actually been waiting to tell you guys this guys out there if your girl dresses like that she's a keeper <laughs> why do I put up with you <laughs> so dark. these bees are pretty calm too yeah they're, they're chill did you get her door open yeah she's open but sorry the last one had a nice hook on it. This one doesn't have a hook. Wouldn't it just sit between the frames? Well, yeah, it would, but I need the frames out of the way so I can get the bees in. Does that work? I guess you can pour them into the side there. Uh, I'm not gonna put this in yet because I'm afraid I'm gonna dump bees into the sugar water. Munchie, hold that for mom. Yeah. Look at this. Ridiculous. Did she crawl on your lap? No. Cat's got a rough life. They're all holding hands. It cracks me up. How they all hold on to each other? Yeah. You ever seen when people make bee beards? Uh, yeah, I've seen that. Bee beards? Yeah, they'll put all the bees on their face and they hang off and it looks like a beard. All right. Everybody else? Find their own way. Is their door open? Huh? Is their door open? Yeah, it's open. 
very loud right here with all these bees. Is it? Yeah. I can't really hear it over here. Buggy, stay back. They're going in, they're climbing up and going in. House? Yeah, they'll go yeah. in the house. They'll hear everybody and they'll smell the queen. And oh yeah, sure oh, enough, yeah. they're going yeah. in. And they'll, they'll find their way. I did that with the last batch. I just put everybody else who was left in the bus in the front and they found their way in. All right, it looks, looks like these ones are fairly calm too. Yeah, I think they are. All right, so that was pretty uneventful. Yeah, yeah. Looks like we got some more gentle bees. I hope so. So, we should be good. So, you couldn't fit that other frame. Not with uh, the queen. With the, little, there, yeah. the queen's little queen separator thing, uh, her little fortress of solitude. Yes. Uh, so, I guess we'll just go back in there after yeah. they've moved out of it and. Take that out and put the frame back in. Okay. So. All right. I. I'm actually going to be gone this afternoon. I got to go help a friend. He uh, he discovered some water damage under a bathroom. Yes. And it was one of those things where he started pulling stuff off, and it was way worse than he ever imagined. It so always is. I'm going to go help him this afternoon. So I may or may not be in the rest of the video. Yeah. So we'll see. <laughs> I will see you guys later. Alrighty, while Ben is gone, I need to I need to make muffins. We are out of muffins, and you guys know that we eat them on a regular basis, daily. Everybody has them as like a pre-breakfast kind of thing. So I need to make muffins today, but before I do that, I need to deal with the eggs that are taking over my house. The kids will collect the eggs daily in a basket. Um, each day gets one basket. And ideally, I am taking care of these like, you know, every other day or so and keeping them in cartons and stuff, but most of the time it winds up being just days and days and days worth, <laughs> like, like a week or so. You're silly. So today I need to get these taken care of, get them sorted. I count them and I keep a record of them in a binder just so I can see like what our normal like egg season is and how many we're getting. Then I can kind of see like if something is going wrong, like we're getting a lower egg count, then we can go, oh, okay, wait, that's not normal. We got to figure out what's going on. So I'm going to do that today. Um, usually what I do is I just put all the nice like clean ones in cartons and then any nasty ones will just go into another basket and I'll either wash those or if I don't want to wash them I'll just send them to the pigs because we have such an influx of eggs right now that it, they actually work out as protein for the pigs. So that will reduce um, needing feed for the day if we can just feed them eggs and milk and you know, whatever scraps we have. So I'm going to get that going and hopefully I can get some counter space back. Let me have an egg. Okay, put it in gently, very carefully. Good job. And then I read a date on the eggs. I know these were from yesterday, so that's... And this is an egg. That is an egg. So and then they go in the... St oh, I think I just cracked one. I did. Oh, no. Okay, I grabbed that one too hard. Did I have one of yours? No. No? You don't let me have one of those? Okay. I'm gonna put it up there. You can get a pink one. I can have a pink one. Okay, thanks. There we go. Thank you. 11, 12. I'm we need another carton. The camera the big. You want to show the camera the big egg? This is a big egg. It is a big egg. It's a muddy, so we found it. It's gonna get clean. You're gonna wash it. Wait until it gets clean. Okay, let's put it over here. 14. Good. I want lines. 15. 16. Look. No, no, no. The egg does not need to wear a headband. It's okay. <laughs> all right. We are all done now. Why? Because that's it. Well done. A strawberry. A strawberry. All right. We got 12 dozen eggs. And that's not including the basket of really disgusting eggs. It was one full basket, and each basket holds about like two and a half to three dozen. So we did pretty good. Um, I save ones that like you know have some dirt on them, but if they're like disgusting, like it's been raining for days and they're just like packed in poopy mud, I don't bother. It's just like why we have so many eggs right now so i need to make muffins now and i have a basket of strawberries we went and got a bunch of strawberries last week and i bought 10 gallons of strawberries because it is time to preserve strawberry jam for the year so we bought a bunch and got those all preserved and ready to go but we had one basket left that i had saved for eating 
but everybody had pretty much eaten <laughs> as much as they wanted to. So it's been sitting I'm in the fridge. Eating. You are eating. You are silly. So this has just been sitting in the fridge languishing. And so what I'm gonna do is go through these. Most of them are pretty good. Some are looking kind of sad, so those will go straight to the pigs or the chickens. Um, but I'm gonna go through these, get them washed, get them chopped, and then I'll use these in my muffins. We'll make strawberry muffins today. Those are good right. strawberries. They are good strawberries. These actually look pretty good. I think it was just the top layer that was kind of sad. Look at that, the biggest hey, one. Hey, you can take your bitten one out. Make sure you eat all that. That's another bitten one. Don't put the bitten ones in there. All right, got them all chopped. Let's make some strawberry muffins. I am back. You are back. And you are, apparently you have been busy while I've been gone. Yeah. Because there's some strawberry muffins. Mm -hmm. And it smells really good in here. Yeah. What, uh, what are you making? I'm making popsicles that we made this Christmas, and then rice. Alright. Easy. It's super easy. It's a good meal. <laughs> rice and pot stickers. Homemade pot stickers at that. Yeah. We, uh, we had a pot sticker party. We did. I mean, those are wonton wrappers, but it's all I can find. Worked really, really good. Yeah. So Yes. <laughs> good easy dinner. Why are these so exciting? Because they're tasty. <laughs> we need to have another pot sticker party so we can replenish. We do. This is the last of them. That's that's kinda sad. It is. We're only gonna get like four a piece. No. Better make a lot of rice. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. No, oh, stop. Disrobing. Did you say they're disrobing? They're disrobing. Buddy, look away. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> that was really good. I hate the spot. Yeah. Uh, sometimes the simple meals are the best. Yep. Alright, that's gonna do it for us for tonight. So. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. All right, sitting here at the end of the night, Meg is editing, and I realized I forgot one thing. I was thinking about when this video is actually going to post. I want to say happy birthday, Mom. Miss you.